Kuro mai tato katoa. Hola a todos. Hello Somalia. Welcome to my video about verbs. Um, I think verbs are really, really important and a crucial part of language learning, especially early on. Um, of course, that's stating the obvious to many of you and many of us, but the reason I say it that verbs are particularly important is actually because I think it's common that once we've learned how to introduce ourselves, maybe we've learned how to count and some other basics of sort of meeting people, a lot of us tend to veer quickly towards nouns, uh, especially because I think it's natural because nouns we can associate with objects and things that we see. Um, so we start to, you know, often we go down this path of learning the words for animals and colors and days of the week, all these sorts of things, which, yeah, they're useful um, and, in fact, they're sometimes necessary. However, in my experience with language learning um, and language usage, that verbs are actually a lot more practical and useful and necessary on a daily basis. Um, why? Because we're talking about what we're doing, all right? It's essentially what we're doing. What are you up to? What, what have you been doing? What would you like to do? What are you going to do later? What are you doing tomorrow? You know, what are you doing right now? You might be on the phone with somebody. So in my experience, you know, learning all of these nouns and learning animals and objects and places and stuff is only useful in, in those situations where they're useful. And they're less frequent, in my opinion, than activities. So for that reason, I'm really uh, a strong believer now that uh, verbs, the sooner we learn useful verbs, the better. Um, a ridiculous example I can imagine is uh, knowing, you know, of knowing nouns that are unnecessary is, you know, when you're in a, when you're in a tight situation, when you need help, or let's say you're in, in the middle of Tokyo and you need to find a bathroom urgently, you know, knowing the Japanese word for chicken or purple or, you know, long wheel truck or whatever it's not going to help you um you need to know how to ask for help where to go like you know where i need to go to a certain place so anyway might not be the best of examples but the point being that our activities are actually more more useful i think um this list of verbs is just my from my experience and you may or may not agree with all of these words you may think there are some glaringly obvious ones that are missing you may think there's some on here that are not so important. Um, you will also see that the English word is there at the top and then underneath it is the Māori word. For those of us in New Zealand uh, speaking Māori, koe ngā kupu mahi. All right, these are the verbs or the action words that go with the English ones. Um, I just encourage you to learn them. Um, learn how to, of course, learn how to use them and all of the other more technical things of language. But knowing these words is, is the start. Um, yeah, so that's what it's about for me, verbs. Now, at the moment, my new language is Spanish, and I know probably a third to half of these in Spanish, but I'm still, I still need to learn and get more uh, familiar and confident with all of them because, like I say, from my experience, I know that they'll be useful to me. Um, feel free to like, share, make it, you know, uh, subscribe even if you, if you care to. Uh, I make all sorts of videos uh, around languages. Sometimes they're specific towards Māori speakers uh, or learners, uh, so, but often they will be general. I like to think that there's lots of language skills and knowledge that are translatable or transferable to just about any language or literally any language uh, that you're learning. So anyway, thanks for watching. Kānui te mihi kia koutou, ngā kai whakarongo, ngā kai mā takitaki. Thank you very much and have a great day. Cheers.